Many other species occupy this world other than you and I, especially here in Everglades National Park. Though the Everglades are covered in water, not only reptiles and fish live within this ecosystem, we also have a wide array of mammals. Some of them are laid back, some are playful, and some are dangerous. The West Indian manatee is a beautiful sea creature that also breathes air and grows hair just like you and I. They have acquired the nickname of the sea cow due to their robust body and love for sea vegetation. They are herbivores and have no true predators other than humans. The manatee is a slow-moving and easy-going mammal. This, however, is a problem for them. They do not possess the speed they need to run from things that may harm them. Motorboats frequently strike them because they are swimming just under the surface of the water where motorists cannot see them. That is why along the coastal areas you will see no wake or manatee zone markers where boats must idle through those areas. If we move a little further inland, we will find a fierce predator of the wild. This top of the food chain mammal is the Florida panther. The Florida panther is a carnivore and loves to snack on white-tailed deer and wild hogs. When those are not available though, they do enjoy the occasional armadillo, raccoons, birds, and even sometimes alligators. An interesting fact about the Florida panther is that there are only about a hundred of them left in the, so the southern part of Florida. This is actually a high number for the Florida panther population because it once got as low as 30 panthers left in the wild. In the early 1900s, they were deemed dangerous and had a bounty on their pelts. This decreased the population by a lot. It was then saved by the Endangered Species Act and was one of the first animals added to it. The Florida panther population is now being aided by multiple government agencies to help bring them back up to a safe and sustainable species. If we take a gander into some of the large flowing rivers throughout the Everglades, we might find a couple families of North American river otters. River otters are very playful creatures that are very sociable with each other. The USGS department actually classifies a group of otters as a family. The river otter is truly a seafood lover. Their diet consists mainly of fish and various shellfish. They have also been known to eat the occasional amphibians such as frogs. They are equally versatile in the water and on land, though they prefer to be in the water as much as possible. They create burrows close enough to the water's edge where the exit and entrances lead straight to the water. Because the river otter is in the water so much, they have adapted over time and are protected and insulated by a thick, water-repellent coat of fur. There are many other mammals living within the Everglades ecosystem that we just will not get to touch on today, but if you keep your eyes open while you are out and about in this wonderful park, you are bound to see some. One thing to take away from this program is that we as humans have to make a conscious effort to remember that we share this planet with many other creatures. We have to make sure that what we do is not going to end these beautiful creatures. Always remember that the best way to observe these creatures is with your eyes and not to dis disturb their natural habitat. We at Everglades National Park hope you enjoy this one-of-a-kind ecosystem as much as we enjoy showing it to you.